very good morning to you all. Uh, I am Sarvesh Singh, CMD, Bharat Broadband Network Limited, uh, with this presentation, a brief presentation on BharatNet. I'm sure some, many people would have heard about it, but let me introduce you to whoever has not, and maybe a few other things which you may not be knowing about BharatNet. It all began with uh, when government decided in 2011 to provide uh, broadband connectivity to rural India, 100 Mbps connectivity to all the 2.5 lakh gram panchayats of the country. It was decided that we lay the optical fiber cable from the block to the gram panchayat because uh, up till the block level, the, most of the, uh, either BSNL or other operators, they had the optical fiber cable, the backhaul and all. And to connect the rural India, uh, it was decided that we lay the optical fiber cable from block to the Gram Panchayat level. So it was decided that we'll connect all the 2.5 lakh Gram Panchayats. Bandwidth was to be provided by, uh, on the non-discriminatory basis to all the service providers. Network was supposed to be the national asset. Whatever is to be laid will be a national asset. And it was to be, just because it was a rural, this thing, connectivity, so it was uh, because this thing, it was decided to be funded by Universal Services Obligation Fund, which we have, government has created uh, for connectivity to the rural India. Uh, this thing, uh, roughly the indicative cost at that time was 20,000 odd crores, so it has increased uh, a lot now and at, in the same it was decided in 2011 in the cabinet note uh, in October 2011 it was also de decided that the government will set up a SPV to uh, for the execution management and I mean the network will be created by them and then operated and maintained by them so it was at that time it was a national optical fiber network called NOFEN so BBNL was that SPV, Bharat Broadband Network Limited, which was created uh, to, for the, this execution, operation, creation, operation, maintenance of NOFEN, actually. Why government did, this, did, did it was because, uh, you know, rural India, as always, has a lot of problems. Whatever the government's, because whatever the government schemes were, government used to launch it had, they use a lot of pilferage and all, so it had, they hardly reach the rural India. And a lot of poor, I mean government, you see since independence, government had been uh, doing a lot of things. They, they may be building, uh, putting the schools there, but the teachers never reached the rural India. They, there were primary health care centers and other things which were created, but hardly the doctors never reached there. So maybe government thought that in order to bring the rural India near to the uh, this thing, uh, uh, more connectivity and all, perhaps uh, broadband and internet was the thing which, by which they can maybe deliver a lot of services and all. Even the government schemes, once the technology comes, um, a lot of pilferage and all can be stopped, which was done manual and all. So it was like uh, um, uh, providing um, the government schemes uh, so that privileges can be stopped. Uh, lack of access, to, uh, and the rural India, you know, see the aspirations and all, we have got so much youth in the country, so it was thought that perhaps a lot of uh, entertainment and other things, Facebook, WhatsApp, other things coming up and those sort of things can also reach the rural, uh, this thing, youth. And a lot of opportunity, broadband, once it reaches there, it unleashes a lot of opportunities. I mean, if, if you know, I mean, uh, some, some, uh, some people, in case you have the opportunity to go to the rural India now, once we have uh, already uh, connected almost like 45% of the Gram Panchayats out of the 2.5 lakh, you'll see that how the schemes, government schemes are being delivered by, we have involved the village level entrepreneurs over there. There's a team of village level entrepreneurs. Uh, so how those village level entrepreneurs are uh, not only using BharatNet and maybe other services provided by the broadband and all available from the other service providers, you see not only the government schemes and all, but so much of business being done by those VLEs. Uh, I mean, uh, I can tell you one of the, uh, because I am five, five months old to this organization and still to cover a lot of states, but uh, I can tell you one of the states, I, I just want to mention that 
at one of the uh, blocks, uh, Unnao block, there was a Hazanganj block in Unnao district. I had gone there that really was making one lakh rupees every month, out, sitting in that block. Uh, and he was doing so much of it, uh, they were they were doing, uh, they were doing, uh, 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 he was uh, making sanitary napkins. With, I mean, there was, it was not only the, he was making money, there was so, so much of social, th this thing was also done. LED bulbs were being made by him, he was doing the, uh, sanitary napkins, uh, the cost was something like less than two rupees per this thing for a pack of seven rupees. So, uh, which was otherwise not available for the rural women and all. So that not only the social this thing, but he was earning money out of it. And there were many services, people want to make passport, people want to electricity connection, other things with the nominal charges and all. A lot of services are being delivered in the rural India. So if you happen to go there, you'll find, will just look for a VLE, he'll tell you what he's doing out of and how he's making money. So uh, when I asked him how you, he said, Ki, sir, I'm, my, my children study in CMS Lucknow, and if I don't earn so much, then how, how am I going to make it? I mean, so it is like uh, Bharatnet is, it's one of the, one of the most, I am telling you, uh, as a, uh, as, as CMD, Bharat Broad Network Limited, I feel so much responsibility and so much, uh, that once, whenever I sit idle and think over it, it's such a, such a ambitious, one of the largest infrastructure project of the government of India, one of the largest, and very ambitious, and very, very, very important project, where, where it is like taking broadband means uh, providing so much of, so much of this thing for the rural, uh, not only the government schemes and all, but for the rural youth where the, there's a problem of, um, even the jobs and other things, they it unleash a lot of opportunities actually. Uh, because when you go to them, if I, if I go and see the VLEs over there, um, you see Amazon and all, they hardly, when I, you, by the time they reach Greater from even Delhi to Noida to Greater Noida, they start crying. They'll say they'll not deliver this thing. But you, when you see the VLEs and all in the rural, this thing, they are even the Patanjali products they are selling, they are tying up with a lot of this thing across the country. And delivering in the rural India, where, where there is hardly any this thing, people are not able to reach there. So broadband connectivity to rural India, uh, it's thought that it will reduce the digital divide between the urban and the rural. Uh, it will build a knowledge economy, lead to socio-economic development, and these things I have listed. And government, this e-health, e-education, e-banking, there are VLEs are also acting as banking correspondents. You go there, they'll, they'll take money from you, deposit in the uh, account of those whatever the rural people over there, whatever they are earning, they can deposit it in the account. The VLE will, is acting as a banking correspondent and he, he deposits the money on their behalf and even if you want to take out the money, VLE will give you. And that is how, what the arrangement he has got for that. So, lot of things, there's a delivery and a real delivery. Uh, the Bharat is really changing, I'm telling you, if you go to the rural India for the first time, when I came here, even, even I was, uh, I mean, even I didn't know that what is changing actually. But when, when, once I had gone to the villages, I have seen myself, it is really the country is changing. And my people, uh, whoever uh, here sitting here, if you have an opportunity, go to the Gram Panchayats and see what the revolution is being brought about by the present government and even the previous government who conceived it actually. So entertainment, communication and all, and different states have different model. Maybe Rajasthan has different, Andhra has different everywhere. Content is being delivered, local content is being delivered. The, uh, so there the are many things actually. Uh, it started with the Bharatnet phase one, the implementation strategy was because it was something like, uh, uh, you see from every block to Gram Panchayat, is something like five, five, at least five kilometers of optical fiber is to be laid. And this was, uh, uh, just because we were in a hurry to roll out the services and all, we, so we thought that maybe partially we'll, we'll take the whatever fiber is available of the BSNL. So uh, maybe uh, in this case 40% of the fiber of BSNL we have used beyond the block which was available. And after that, the partly we have laid something like 2 kilometers of, for every gram panchayat, uh, two, 2 kilometers of uh, maybe BSNL cable and 3 kilometers of our cable we have laid so that we can reach the Gram Panchayat as soon as possible. So it was like in phase one, partially BSL fiber is also, has also been used. The, in the implementation strategy we had given to, uh, it was deliberated and we thought that maybe 
our CPU, CPSUs, uh, B, uh, uh, this BSNL, uh, Railtail, PGCIL, and all, they have they, they were in this field and been doing this work. So BBNL was a initial entity, and we didn't have the uh, we already recruited uh, people were coming into the organization and all. So we we gave government decided that even BBNL gave it to the CPSUs for implementation, and roughly 70% of the work was given to BSNL. Uh, PGCIL some 15 percent and Railtail 15 percent, and uh, it was all the whatever the uh, it was the technology which was chosen was uh, GPON, and there's an OLT ONT. So in the block level, all the OLTs had been kept in the BSNL exchanges in the, in the uh, and ONTs in the Gram Panchayat. Mostly the all the equipment in the Gram Panchayat level have been kept in the Gram Panchayat buildings wherever something 80 82 percent of the equipment are placed in the Gram Panchayat building because everywhere the building was not available. A lot of places it was there in good condition. Many of the, many of the places it was not there, proper and all, and the equipment it was thought that maybe not be safe and other things. So we selected other places which were schools also, even the railway stations, we have even Anganwadi, wherever, I mean, whatever institution was available. Because la you see, la delivery in the last mile, we were in the middle mile, I'll say uh, that the Bharat Net is something like in the middle mile from block to Gram Panchayat, and we have 2.5 lakh gram panchayats in the country and something like 6.5 lakh villages. So every block has roughly 2.5 lakh villages, all, I mean 2.5 villages roughly on an average from every block connected. So we are reaching up to the gram panchayat level and beyond that also we have to reach, though it is not the mandate of Bharatnet, but utilization in any case whatever government is spending something like 50,000 crores, 42,000 crores is already sanctioned for phase one, phase two completely. So. Uh, so obviously the utilization is also important. Finally, we'll be looking into earning out of it, or even at least the delivery should start properly. So, uh, so budget approval for the phase one was 11,140 crore, 148 crores. That was the this thing, and almost like maybe a little bit here and there. We are almost on this budget, maybe say 13,000 crores or something. So you can see. This strategy was decided on 10th of September 2013, after which only the work started effectively. So uh, these were the BSNL was, as I said, 80, 85% uh, or 70% 70, 70 we have said that initially the, we thought that in phase one we'll choose one lakh gram panchayats, uh, but Later on, just because all the one lakh target could not, we are not able to achieve because there were a lot of ROW issues and also few of the gram panchayats and part of it, we were facing problems, which, which were uh, delaying the things and all. So we enhanced our target of one lakh to 1.25 lakhs so that at least that one lakh target, one lakh gram panchayats connectivity target can be achieved. So this is the breakup of 1.25 lakh gram panchayats, the enhanced phase one, in which BSNL is doing something like 83% because once the target was enhanced, most of the work went to BSNL. So BSNL is doing 1 lakh 3,000 gram panchayats and all in, of phase one, and PGCIL and this is some 10,000 odd. So these were the state. Most of the states were with BSNL, and Railtel had Gujarat and Northeast uh, primarily. And PGCL had uh, that Andhra, Telangana, and uh, uh, this thing, Jharkhand, uh, and Odisha, and also Himachal. So that was Tamil Nadu. Uh, we signed uh, free ROW uh, uh, MOUs with all the state governments so that uh, we don't have to pay them. But central, central ROW we had to obtain from forest uh, and uh, railways, um, highways, NHAI, and all. Uh, forest was the most difficult, which took a lot of time. Uh, so that was, but Tamil Nadu did not did not sign the free ROW agreement with us. So we, we in phase one we could not take any of the gram panchayats of Tamil Nadu. Rest of the all the almost all the states we covered. So this is uh, the coverage uh, GP wise uh, in phase one. Uh, it is like. Mm, uh, I mean, how much of the uh, coverage has been done for uh, state wise? I'm taking so if you see Kerala, Karnataka, Haryana, they were almost like in phase one, we have covered almost almost like 100 percent of it, even Rajasthan is 88 percent. And uh, similarly, this is what has been covered in phase one of the various gram panchayats and all, even Gujarat, Maharashtra, there are some 48 50 percent and those sort of things. Tamil Nadu is zero, and um, Andhra. 
and others were also less. Uh, Himachal was less. So it is like how much has been covered. This slide shows how, how I mean, what percentage of the gram panchayats of that particular state have been covered in phase one actually. So that is uh, then. This is as per the number of gram panchayats, say 1.25 lakhs, then what percentage was it? So UP East was the maximum. And uh, then uh, Maharashtra MP also covered large, large number of gram panchayats actually. So that is the out of, it's by quantum, it is not by the state and all, it is by quantum which state had the maximum number of gram panchayats. Phase one progress as of now that whatever the phase one target of one lakh GPs has been completed in December 2017. Of this extended phase one target, as I mentioned, 1.25 lakh gram panchayats, almost 1.18 more than that. 94-95% uh, has been have been made service ready. We have laid three lakh kilometers of opt optical fiber cable in that middle mile from block to the this thing, and two lakh kilometers of BSNL's existing fiber has been used to provide that connectivity. This implementing agency wise, BSNL have completed 98% of the work, PGCIL some 91%, and rail till 65%. We are stuck up in the northeast actually. The the maximum work which is left of that 1.25 lakhs is some 3,000 odd is northeast, where, where we are really still struggling and uh, thinking of what to do and how to do it actually. And uh, Gujarat 755, uh, which we'll be completing soon, and West Bengal 694, these are the major ones actually. So it's like the balance, this thing, and almost 50%, 45% have still ROW and other issues and all, Nexel issues, backhaul and all, that's why we are, I mean, uh, the first one lakh was completed with, but these are the ones which are left of, uh, left over of the phase one, which are really difficult. So, but still Gujarat, West Bengal and other things. So, as I said, 55% out of it, 70% will complete in next three months and beyond that in next three months. So, this is the progress of phase one by and large. And uh, then phase two uh, of the balance, 1.25 lakhs, uh, it was approved in, by cabinet on 19th of July, 2017. <laughs> How much time I have? Uh, earlier you said time is not a this thing, so I, I was going a little slow, but I'll come fast. Give me five, ten minutes then. So phase two was um, one, uh, this work front uh, was increased to 1.25 lakh. The implementation strategy we changed from, uh, from phase one, uh, actually we were laying the uh, cable, partly we were using the BSNL fiber cable, uh, this thing, but in phase two, uh, because BSNL fiber was old and this thing, a lot of rickety fiber and we have a lot of problems in maintenance uh, with that fiber and the our system is also down. So we thought that we'll lay the complete fiber from block to GP. So it was like five, so something like 5.5 lakh kilometers of optical fiber in phase two we'll be laying against the three lakh kilometers we laid in phase one. So phase two, or something like 5.5, we are anticipating that this much will be late. And uh, the earlier it was fiber only underground, so this time we decided the, the whatever way we want to reach, we'll reach there. It can be aerial fiber, it can be um, underground, it can be radio also, or satellite and other things. So it was a mix. And in phase two, we have involved the states. Eight states are doing the work for us. Um, Andhra, Telangana, uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, not Tamil, yeah, Tamil Nadu and um, then Maharashtra, Gujarat, and so, so on. And uh, here, uh, the, another change is that uh, even the ONM we have made part of the, uh, whatever the implementing agency, agency and all. Target of completion was March 2019, but uh, it has, I mean, phase one also took time. I think March is very ambitious, but maybe another one, one and a half years we'll complete it. Phase three was just uh, this thing, direction only, but uh, nothing concrete, so it is, So this is uh, just showing that what is the partnership with the states and part of the work is being done by PGCIL and BSNL. Almost uh, half of the work of phase two is being done by the states. Th one third is being done by BSNL and then by a small, a little bit, even uh, by BBNL is also doing some 7,000, 8,000 GPs in Punjab and Bihar and PGCIL in Himachal and Uttarakhand and uh, satellite, some. Uh, some odd uh, 6,228, almost 6,000 plus we are uh, conducting the Gram Panchayats on satellite also. This is uh, just uh, various agencies working in the states. I mean, uh, these are the tenders which have been awarded and these are the various uh, stakeholders. 
uh, implementing agencies. Most of the states have created a corporation uh, headed by either principal secretary or most of the IS officers who are APFSL, Mahanet, and GFNN. And, and they, they, are, they have given the contracts and we are also monitoring along with them. And this is Bihar and Punjab by BBNL and VTL and Polycab are working for us. And this is uh, BSNL's, uh, BSNL's implementing. Uh, progress at a glance, if you see, we're still very far off actually, we are, except uh, maybe BBNL themselves who are doing the work in Punjab and Bihar, we are almost at 50%, but otherwise at other places it's a little slow and we feel that uh, we'll try to expedite it actually. Phase 2 is like hardly say 10%, 15%, but uh, it'll take off actually. This is, uh, this is the utilization part. Utilization is little, uh, you see, tricky because our system is also, uh, whatever we have connected also, a lot of it, a lot of the system is down because we have got a BSNL fiber, uh, which is uh, this thing, and otherwise also we have, you see, last mile has a lot of problems. Middle mile is no, no better. Once you go to the Gram Panchayat, that level, as I show, had shown in the previous slide and all, there are ownership issues, there is theft, there is, um, uh, there is inaccessibility even, uh, it's last mile is something like it's, it's a nightmare for either for the government or the private. Nobody can, nobody can reach there actually. Nobody can, it's very, very dif difficult to deliver the, if somebody is delivering even if the part of the services I'm telling you, it's a, just a wonderful job. Even, it's not that previous governments didn't try. Everybody tried. They made schemes, they made, but last mile is so difficult that uh, the, there are so problems, but uh, so, so it is uh, even the uh, private players may be understanding, I mean, uh, putting their, their BTS, whatever, and uh, utilizing it, selling it, uh, then maintaining it. It's all very difficult, actually. So utilization, I've shown you here some dark fibers, this thing. We have provided Wi-Fi in the last mile also. Major challenges, um, upkeep of the network. So it is like uh, just because uh, ONM, even the BSNL is finding difficult to maintain the, this thing, their fiber and all. Even the incremental fiber, what we had late was being maintained by BSNL. So we, we are now involving the CSE who have the village level entrepreneurs in the work. And we have all the 1.25 lakh gram panchayats, we have given it to CSE for, for maintaining it actually. We are very hopeful because the VLEs are themselves utilizing it and if the, they are the ones who, who feel the real pain once the network goes down. So we are training them also and they'll come forward and we are pretty sure that they'll, they'll be very useful to us in maintaining the network. Similarly, the utilization, a lot of this thing in the, because of the, net, once the network is not available, really, in the true sense, um, uh, then, then there's a problem of utilization also. So that's all. Thank you.